Hi YouTube, my name is Brendan. I'm Stephen. And we are the co-owners of the Rustic Tub, a little small bath and body care. I was gonna say handmade bath. We don't make baths at all. We make products for the baths. We are a small handmade bath and body care business that started up in Vancouver, British Columbia, but have since moved on over to a wonderful little place called Tiny Ontario. Magical little place. All right, for those people who were part of this channel beforehand, you will notice that there may have been a slight little bit of a facelift, we'll say. We'll call it a renovation, but for the very small handful who were a part of this, I really hope that you still can be a part of this journey. Um, for those of you who don't know and you're just coming onto this channel, it was a very different channel beforehand, but since then we have moved it on over to our small little handmade company. Steven's very quiet with this one just because he didn't take part in the channel before. But moving forward, we are both a part of this channel collectively as our small business. And we want to invite you to join us on our journey for that one. And that's going through literally our, our move, our transformation, and everything else from there on. Before we move on, though, we got a nice little handy dandy notebook. Uh, just of questions to go for, we are making this more or less an introduction video of us. As you can tell already, Steven is so great on the camera. He likes conversations, loves to just talk. I'm the extroverted one. He's very introverted when it comes to this stuff. Without further ado, this is more or less a video to introduce ourselves to you, just so you know who you are subscribing to or liking to or following us from the get-go. We'll try to put this on our main channel on the main page as who we are just for now. Just so everyone knew who's coming in, you can come see this nice video and see our wonderful personality or lack of camera magic. I thought you were gonna do a thumbs up. <laughs> no. Okay. So a little bit about ourselves. Uh, did you wanna start first? No, you can go. I've already been going for the whole time. That's fine. You can go first. Oh. All right. <laughs> Our introduction already gave it away. I'm Brendan. Before we got into this, I used to be a makeup artist in the film industry in Vancouver, BC. So I worked on a lot of TV series, couple movies, uh, commercials, little short movies here and there. I've been doing it for about 12 years. And um, let's just say it was a very magical time your social life is out the window your family life is out the window and because of a wonderful little pandemic that graced the stage a couple of years ago it put a lot into perspective for me for what i wanted to do for like a proper work-life balance so i ended up pulling out of the film industry and taking my knowledge of skincare and makeup skills and have kind of brought it towards this and then my childhood itself, I grew up in a place called Tiny Ontario, uh, La Fontaine, more specifically. Oh, is this where you want me to talk about myself? Yes, introduce. I don't know what to say. My name <laughs> is Stephen. Hey, my name's Stephen. I'm originally from London, uh, the UK. I moved to Vancouver in 2020. 2020? Yeah, the heat of it. Yeah, heat of COVID-19. Fun for everybody. So uh, my, my career before starting this wonderful business that we have, I used to work in print, advertising. Uh, I used to do publicity as well. And that pretty much sums me up. And you dabbled in film too. Oh, yes, I did do film for a little while and I gave that up because it's just, it's not worth it. He, he can attest to it. It's it's not worth it. It's when I worth, say it's, <laughs> it's not worth doing 18 hours a day. When I say it's a magical career, it's it's a magical career. What made us want to start this business? I wanted to start a business doing candles. I didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> so we started a business doing candles. It was called Avery Candles. And then I wanted to do a business. With, no, then I wanted to add to the business. I wanted to start doing bath bombs. And I did not want to do bath bombs because we had already started candles. I got him the starter set already. And I started falling in love with the business when I made my first candle. Yeah. And then we did our first market. Yeah, and we sold out. 
Yeah, <clears throat> and then as Stephen just said, um, uh, he wanted to do bath bombs. I said, no, that's a terrible idea. So we started doing bath bombs. And then I went to do soap. And once again, I said that was a terrible idea. So we started doing soap. And then from there, we started moving on to everything else. So we've now jumped into shower steamers, everything else. But essentially, that's how we got the business started, was out on a whim that he wanted to start candles. And I got him the candle making kit. And we're now, we're hitting three years into this. That one was more or less somewhat of a business question. But the other question that I wrote down just for like our little our footnotes <laughs> is what do you like to do in your spare time? Oh, my spare time. I haven't had any of that for a long time. I'm trying to think. We never really used to do anything in our spare time. I was working Monday to Friday full time. Yeah. He was working on the business. Yeah. I used to come home and work on the business. And then weekends, we would go to market. And we didn't really have spare time. Literally, this business has been our spare time because we want it to do so well. That makes sense. Yeah. We want it to do really well. So we've pressed almost every ounce of time. Other than that, when we lived in Vancouver, it was more or less, um, we couldn't really afford to go out for any spare time. Yeah. All right. A lovely city, but it was like so expensive to live in. We loved everyone there, made great friends, but a lot of our time was spent on the business. But I don't know, we're casual people, walks around the neighborhood. We've hit we've hit that old stage now. <laughs> walks around the neighborhood, going out to like nice niche little restaurants or breakfast places is um kind of like the sweet spot now. What we do. This is like the first time though that we've actually had spare time and that spare time was spent driving across country to where we are now. Okay, oh, question. Where did we get started? New Westminster, BC. Yeah, so pretty much if you're not from BC, New Westminster is right beside Vancouver. Got started there three years ago, March 21st. I still have it written down of 2021. Yep. I almost said 2020, but that's not even correct. Yep. We started up in the heat of the pandemic, making candles, yep. which was hilarious for people who couldn't smell. Yeah. Yeah. It worked. It was a treat for when they got it back. <laughs> but yeah, no, we started in Vancouver. And but, uh, the last question that we have for our personal about us is why did we move to a small town? I can... I can answer that one by saying, uh, I know, I know your sign about it. We ended up moving back to a small town because with inflation happening all over the place, it was a smarter choice to leave one of the most expensive cities in the world. Yeah. And if we wanted this business to work, there were sacrifices that had to be made. Uh, so we just, did, I did uh, and so in one go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So we decided to move back to my hometown, tiny Ontario. I've said it before, a little blip on the corner of the map in Georgian Bay area. And we we did leave a lot of good people in BC, lots of friends and everything, lots of other vendors who we got along with. Yeah. Coming here is more or less an exciting chapter in our lives because we get to meet a whole new slew of people again. And we get to essentially hit that reset button on our business in a new location, but we still have our customers in BC and we really want to keep that true with them. So in a way we moved, but we moved in order for our business to flourish a little bit more so we can get, and we're going to be completely honest here. So we can get a little bit more of our money for what we put out. That's that. Yeah. Easy as that. So we are, at the end of the day, we are creating this channel. We said it right at the beginning of the video. We are creating this channel for you to join us on our journey as we've essentially packed up, moved everything, and restarted fresh. We are going into a full-blown renovation of a studio. Uh, out that window would be the yeah. best one. We're actually in like my hometown room right now, but we've got like our trinkets from BC still. 
So we want to invite you to come with us as we do our journey, grow with us, renovate our studio out there. That's going to be coming up in the next videos. And that I think is it for this round. We wanted to keep this one short, kind of do an introduction for everyone. And just let you know who we are. We're real people behind the makers of everything that you've seen on Instagram, TikTok. You've seen us on TikTok. But this is who we are, and we want to take you on that journey just to make it more personalized. So join us, hit that like button, subscribe. Feel free to follow us on Patreon. There's not going to be anything on it now, but when the time comes, we are going to be releasing recipes, behind the scenes photos, uh, behind the scene videos, like bloopers when we can't keep a straight face making these videos. And we're going to try to be uploading our videos. Boo, 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 boo. Once a week, for sure. I believe we're going to aim for Sunday for our video upload times. So if you're bored on a Sunday and you find us, hopefully you fall down that rabbit hole and like our video. So until next week, we're going to be in the same outfit because we're doing a back-to-back -back in order to save time. So until next time, thank you so, so much. We'll see you soon. Bye.